Family travel can be exciting, fun, and very stressful. Dr. Stephen Park suggests that some careful planning can help to alleviate stress when families prepare for possible health risks related to travel. We do pay a lot of attention to the things that uh, we need to do in packing toys and packing clothes and, and things like that. And sometimes we don't pay as much attention as we need to in, in preparing for potential or uh, anticipated health issues. If a family is planning to travel internationally, I would first recommend that they speak with their regular physician who can help them in making decisions about how best to be prepared for that travel. One of the first things I think we can do is, as parents and we advise parents to do is to take along essentials. Uh, you may develop actually a travel health kit um, that not only you can use with travel but to have around the home as well or, or more local travel. Uh, I often recommend that parents take not only medications that their children are taking regularly, which of course we don't want them to forget, um, but also to take some things that may be useful if there's an acute medical condition or an exacerbation of, of a chronic issue. It's worthwhile since we do run into acute illnesses, especially in younger children so frequently, that you're prepared with antipyretics, meaning medicines that decrease fever or treat pain such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen, certainly. Uh, often children may have issues of congestion or rashes or hives in response to something, and, and so I like to recommend that people travel with uh, I, an antihistamine such as uh, diphenhydramine or Benadryl as a trade name. Uh, I think it's worthwhile as well if children uh, have cuts or minor injuries that we have not only band-aids available uh, but also to travel with some uh, topical antibiotic ointments uh, to prevent any infection of those injuries. Oftentimes we run into trouble especially with international travel with uh, what we call traveler's diarrhea. Um, uh, an important point to make for children that are traveling and for parents that are caring for them is we really don't recommend using anti-diarrheal medicines. In certain cases where children are traveling to areas where they may have more serious and bacterial infections that cause diarrhea, it may be worthwhile to have antibiotics for travel or to understand how to get help if those diarrheal illnesses come. When you're packing your travel health kit, it's also really important to think about where are we going, what might we encounter in this environment. If you're going off to sunny beaches, uh, we want to really make sure that you're packing appropriate sunscreen for your children. If you're going off uh, on treks through the jungle uh, or to areas where um, mosquitoes may be in season, um, some of those mosquitoes can carry very dangerous diseases. Um, but in general, we do recommend that you bring insect repellents or even insect netting for certain environs. Air travel can be difficult for certain children, especially young children, in that we experience big changes in barometric pressure, the pressure between the inside of the plane and the outside, uh, and that creates differences in pressure, especially as we enc encounter them in our ears. Uh, and so it can be very difficult and, and painful at times for young children in particular to equalize that pressure between the outside and the inside of their ear. What we often recommend for children that experience motion sickness uh, are antihistamines if we need medications. Uh, there are some medications that are used in adults, certain patches, uh, that may be appropriate for adolescents, not so much for young kids. There may be some illnesses or some situations where a family may need to reconsider their travel plans. Uh, that's a hard decision to make as a family. Um, but if a child is acutely ill, where they have a very high fever, they're not responding appropriately, they're not drinking fluids or able to keep fluids down such that they may become dehydrated, or they're in significant pain from a, a very bad ear infection or uh, an injury or something like that that may limit their mobility, then I think we need to consider what's best for the child. Traveling with children can be some of the most fun a family can have and, and growing as a family and spending that time together and seeing the world around us. I think if we as parents and physicians that are helping parents help families to be prepared um, with a first aid kit, with a, a traveling health needs addressed in advance and being able to know a plan in case you did need to seek health care services while you're away. That can take the pressure off of that part of the equation and allow a family to just have a great time.